Hi everyone, meteorologist Rusty Dawkins with once again another chance for severe weather. This has been an incredibly busy year uh, and it doesn't look to slow down anytime soon. Uh, so Thursday and Friday, June 27th and 28th, more chances for severe weather uh, across much of uh, the Midwest and Central Plains, uh, kind of a bullseye on Nebraska. So what we're looking at here first is this area right here from Shatter to Valentine down towards North Platte McCook and over to the west here. This has uh, uh, an enhanced, a level three enhanced risk for severe storms. And on the edge, just about the entire rest of Nebraska, all the way over to Columbus, Lincoln and Beatrice, uh, slight risk, that's level two. And then on the edge here, we have that level one marginal risk. So basically what's gonna happen is storms wanna form here and then push east and weaken a little bit as they do. The potential gets smaller and smaller the further east you go through tonight. But who has the best chance for a tornado? Looks like it's Northwest Nebraska. You're looking at uh, from about Valentine, west to Shadron, uh, south to around uh, Bridgeport, uh, into Garden County, and then all the way up into Western Cherry County. That's the higher risk, a 5% chance. Everybody shaded in green here, basically the Western half of the state, that's a 2% chance. So it's not zero, but it's not a, a good chance. That means probably one or two tornadoes a possibility. Better chance for some very large hail uh, is in uh, the western half of the state. Everybody in yellow has a good chance at seeing some large hail. With the, da the hash marks here, two inches or bigger. Uh, so when you say two inches, you're talking about uh, bigger than a golf ball. So you're talking about the size of a, a normal lime. That's how big of hail. And we've seen some big hail recently, so not a surprise there. And also uh, the black hash marks in this area, especially in that red shaded area, uh, wind in excess of 75 miles per hour in that area. So just about everybody across the state has a chance for, to see some severe winds, which is in excess of 57 miles per hour, but the very high wind potential, uh, 75 miles per hour or higher, is in northwest Nebraska from about Valentine to Shatter and south towards North Platte. So here's kind of your hour by hour play by play. This is uh, 6 p.m. Notice the storms are trying to get going here. And this isn't going to look impressive, it really isn't, but any storm that gets going has that potential of seeing uh, storms get very strong very fast. So there you go, right through that time period from six to 10, I'll kind of back it up here. There's seven, there's eight. And again, I said this wasn't going to look impressive, but any of those storms right there could get strong to severe through the 10 p.m. time frame. so through right there. Now you're already, by 10 p.m. after sunset, you're starting to move into central Nebraska here. And you got storms up here, storms down here. So basically anybody in central Nebraska could see some strong to severe storms. Now by midnight, these try to hang on. And you're looking at uh, right there, that's that sto a storm right there, and then a storm up here. So just about everybody has a chance. Uh, this particular model is saying storms to the south and storms to the north, uh, along and south of Interstate 80 as we get past midnight, tries to make it into Lincoln, but it kind of starts to weaken. So that's kind of why we go from an enhanced risk to a marginal risk from one side of the state to the other, because by the time it gets into Eastern Nebraska, it's kind of weakening. Uh, still a chance for a strong storm or two. It's just the better chance is further west. And then as you look into the early morning hours on Friday, everything quiets down. Then Friday afternoon happens. And this is a little interesting because there's kind of two, two storms. Uh, coming out of this. So I'll, I'll kind of break that down, but we've got um, just about the entire state is in this uh, level two slight risk further north, O'Neill, Valentine, Shattern, the level one marginal risk. So slight risk for much of Nebraska here. The reason behind it is a large hail threat. And again, the, the hash marks here mean the very big hail, the bigger than two inches possible for the southwestern corner of the state into the panhandle. And then uh, a, a higher risk for um, for a lot of wind, 75 mile per hour or higher in this area right here. So any storm that gets going could have a lot of wind and some large hail, especially along in uh, the western half of, uh, of Nebraska along and near Interstate 80. Uh, tornado threat is there. Uh, it's small for everybody, but it's just, it's that kind of setup that a spin up or two is a possibility. This is interesting though. This area right here is for a different reason. Uh, and it's for a different storm. Actually, I'm going to zoom out and show you that it's kind of centered between Kansas City and Falls City, just south of Omaha, just south of Lincoln. So this is a, this right here is an interesting spot, and I'll show you why. Uh, well, let's do that right now. Here's Stormcast. Now this is 2 p.m. Friday. Notice this storm activity here 
that's your, your large hail and your damaging wind uh, for the western half of the state. That's this cold front right here. But this right here, that's your tornado threat. So two separate parts, this part and this part. This makes its way towards Kansas City. This whole thing has a tornado threat to it and large hail and damaging wind. This mainly has your wind and your damaging, uh, your damaging wind and your large hail, two separate storms. This is 8 p.m. Friday. By 10 p.m. Friday, this is basically rolling through the Kansas City area, but some of this tries to get up into southeast Nebraska. Meanwhile, all of this in southwest Nebraska is kind of stalled out. And then right there, this storm is falling apart after midnight, uh, late Friday into Saturday morning, and so is this storm falling apart. So uh, that, that's kind of that. So two, two parts, two storms are going to influence the weather in Nebraska on Friday into early, early Saturday morning. So just about everybody has a chance for severe weather, but where does it come from? Which portion of these storms uh, will affect you? Really depends on what happens as these two storms kind of play against each other. So uh, an interesting, interesting uh, uh, thing going on there. So uh, just something to keep in mind, something to watch. Uh, I'll be keeping an eye on it tonight and uh, into the day tomorrow. Uh, if you want to subscribe, uh, if, if I can, I will go live on YouTube. And uh, if you click the little bell, you'll know when I do that. Uh, it, having fun in the chat. People ask me all kinds of qu uh, questions. If you want to know when the storm's going to happen in your area, how bad it's going to be, how long it's going to last, that's how you can do it. It's like having a direct line to a meteorologist. It's absolutely fantastic. And uh, we have a lot of fun in there as well, too. So. Uh, that's the information we have for you now. Um, thanks a lot.